Well, welcome back. Um, this will be video number th um, three. First video was on the um, hot end fix for the ER20. Second one was some of the things that, uh, some of the easy printable uh, modifications and upgrades that you can do in here. The printer has finally been put together um, to follow up on all of that uh, that we covered in the first two videos. Um, note that, again, the the items that we mentioned, uh, the filament guide holder has been installed next to the input tube. We have the uh, roller, improved roller for the uh, filament uh, spool, uh, which is working great. And, uh, and the printer, at least through the first test print, has been doing fantastic. So I need to do some measurements, but just wanted to throw up here that uh, using the matte blue PLA, um, once I got the Z offset dialed in, the um, the printer or the cube printed off beautifully, absolutely stunningly. Right, the, there is not. I hope it. Fortunately, I don't think it's gonna. Hopefully, you can see that base layer. There is just not a single thing wrong with it. It's just gorgeous. Um, no stringing. Looks like it was perfectly extruded. But even despite that, we're gonna go through all the calibration steps. Uh, in these videos. So what's the process for this? What's the uh, subject of this video? Firmware update. Yay! But hey, we want to talk about how we do firmware um, just to make it easy for those of you that uh, that want to update your firmware. Well, and you will need to update your firmware as changes come out. Um, one, please check the link below. It's the Airy One Facebook page for design. Uh, several folks on there actually compile and build uh, firmware with with uh, additional oh, you know, features, uh, additional uh, work. Uh, I'll just say additional features, but you could delve into that. Some of them are features that are already there. They just make them uh, these new builds make uh, fix some bugs, make things a little bit easier to work with. Um, and I'm gonna just use the latest one that was just po posted up by um, Stefano Piga. Um, on that link, and you can go to that link there, and I downloaded the RAR file um, that he posted with that firmware, and that I've drug onto my desktop. Super easy, nothing nothing strange about that. The other thing that I've downloaded from uh, the GitHub page, and you can get this, uh, I will put this, uh, how to get to the STM32, the GitHub page for, uh, for the ER20, and the firmware update stuff that, that has the flash tool, which is what we need to actually do the firmware itself. So I've downloaded the flash tool. Again, you can go to the link below to get it. Um, and I've drugged that onto my desktop as well. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna start at the flash tool. Note that obviously we have the cable plugged in to the computer and it says, Windows doesn't want me to run this, but I'm going to run it anyway because we need to run it to be able to talk to our printer. COM3 should be fine. That's the only COM port that's coming through. Um, and it says to download firmware. I don't want to download firmware. I want to use the prepared firmware piece. So I'm actually going to go to the desktop where I have my, where I expanded my RAR file. I'm going to go to the Marlin 2.0.x by PS and go to prepared firmware. And I'm going to pick the ER20.2.0.x uh, ER by PS bin file. So let's get this closer just to see if you can see the name of the file all right. So what I've done is I navigated to... The expanded RAR file that I, that I just basically double clicked that expanded out and then I went to prepared firmware and that gives me my bi.bin file or my bin file and that's the firmware I'm going to use so now I just hit OK and it says waiting and now it's sending the package
actually going pretty quickly. We're already over 60% done with sending the file over. All right, it says done. So when it's done, what you need to do is you need to, um, we're gonna close out of the flash tool. Boom. We're going to unplug our cable. So I'm just gonna just unplug my cable directly here. And then we're gonna shut down the ER20. Just gonna let that be shut down for just a few seconds. Power it back up. And now it's showing the, the bug fix Marlin 2.0.x build. Which should have some expanded features for us. Just going to go to about printer. Printer info is still the Airy one uh, ER20. The bug fix firmware was compiled just one week ago, uh, 2021-05-11. Um, it's going to give me my board info. Um, I sense thermistors. Just going to give me all the information that I need. Um, where we should see some interesting things is in the configuration settings. Um, so if I go to, for example, um, advanced settings, I can set home offsets, velocity, I've got acceleration, junction deviation to be set there, and I should have a uh, linear advance here too. Um, I'll need to look for that uh, and I can get back to you on how to work it. So hopefully that helps uh, to, on how to update your firmware. Everything looks good. Uh, we will, uh, I'll try a print with it in, uh, maybe not tonight, but uh, coming tomorrow. And, uh, and we'll continue the videos with how to, as we get into actually calibrating the printer. The next thing uh, we're going to do in video number four is uh, we're going to check um, our Z offset again, and then we are going to calibrate E steps. So we're going to actually look at our extruder steps and make sure there, uh, we're, we're, when we ask, for example, 100 mil for 100 uh, millimeters of filament, we're getting 100 mil millimeters of filament uh, being extruded. Anyway, take care. See you for the next video.